Hey everybody, how's it going? So the Joker is a character, the Jared Leto version at least, is a character that we weren't really sure if we would see ever appear again after Suicide Squad, just based on how a lot of characters are being recast, such as you know Will Smith's Deadshot is recast, and then also there wasn't that much confirmation until recently with Boomerang coming back that we would really get any characters from the last film outside of Harley Quinn, I guess, reappearing the James Gunn Suicide Squad. So with that, we weren't really sure what we're gonna get and then going to Birds of Prey, with that movie being rather a clean slate overall, a lot of people just kind of assumed that Harley would be the only piece from the previous DC movies translating into Birds of Prey. And with filming currently going on for it, it looks like a scene has leaked online which shows the quote unquote breakup between Harley Quinn and the Joker. Now this is really interesting because we've seen parts of this before with Harley walking around with a box full of her stuff, but what we didn't see before is anything involving the Joker in it. And it kind of was assumed that this moment would be basically just probably starting off the film with her and the Joker already have broken up, which a lot of people thought would have been something that would be in their solo kind of spinoff film. And I say solo, but really it's like the Joker and Harley Quinn spinoff that reportedly was in development. And I guess they're just probably going to merge aspects of that into Birds of Prey, considering I think the full title for Birds of Prey is Birds of Prey and the Emancipation of Harley Quinn. So. It wouldn't be too, I guess, far-fetched to think that they're just combining certain elements of that. Now, a big moment is the fact that, yes, Jerry Leto's version of the Joker appears on set during this breakup moment. However, I do think it's worth mentioning that Leto is not on set himself, considering that he's busy filming Morbius for Sony. Now, it'll be interesting to see if this is more of a cameo using a stand-in actor, or if it's simply just one thing that might lead to a bigger thing. And what I mean by that is maybe the stand-in actor is just gonna outright replace Leto. That would be crazy. I really doubt that would happen. I think this is probably just a stand-in actor to look like Jared Leto's version of the Joker just for probably a few seconds, if anything, and then they're gonna move on from it. Just to give some sort of closure with that type of character, with that type of moment, even though it's kind of funny imagining the Joker owning a house, all things considered, you know, he just has, you know, happens to have a house, you know? Go figure. But accomplish your thoughts, what do you guys think about this? And we'll see you guys later.